Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and this is an open letter to the people who survived the terrorist attack in Florida, to the parents whose son fell in the gorilla cage, and to the parents who just lost their son uh, to the alligator uh, attack in Florida. I want to apologize to you because as a Christian, we are failing you. You see, God gave authority and dominion to mankind. And because we have not taken that responsibility, because we are fearful and we hide from these things, um, we have been slacking off on our job. And I just want to apologize to you because... As Christians, we should be the ones that prevent those things from happening to you and other people. We have authority and power to stop that. Everything that's not heaven on earth, as Christians, we're supposed to stop it. And I want to apologize, first of all, to the survivors of the terrorist um, group. I want to apologize on behalf of all Christians who know the love and grace of God because... I want you to know, parents especially, that this was not God's judgment. This was not God's wrath. God loves your kids. He did not want them to die. God died on the cross so that your kids would have abundant life here on earth. He did not die to turn around and kill your kids. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. The devil stole your kids from you. And I want to apologize on, on behalf of all these Christians that are, are Christians and they don't know the love of God. That they are they are saying hateful things. They're saying um, things that hurt you. I'm sorry that they're saying that. That is not our God. That is not the God of love. Our God of love died for your children. He sends angels to camp around them and protect them. Sometimes in life we're too busy to hear Hear those angels, hear, hear the, that protection, that guidance, that direction that says don't go here or don't go there. Because life is busy. But I don't want you to go away from this terrorist event and the parents who lost uh, their child in the, in the um, alligator attack and the parents that almost lost their child and is getting bashed for the gorilla, uh, falling into the gorilla enclosure. We as Christians need to be praying and taking authority over those things. Those are things from the devil. Those are things that, that the devil wants. The devil wants you to think that our God does that. And Christians who don't know any better accuse God of doing that because they don't want to take responsibility. Well, I'm apologizing. I'm taking responsibility. I'll pray for you. I'll pray that your children that you have are safe, that they never fall into the hands of the enemy like that again. I'll pray that your children that are living a lifestyle that will hurt them in the end, um, that, that they're at the wrong place at the right time, that they will come to know you in an intimate and personal, that they will come to know God in an intimate and personal way, and they will have abundant life. They will have life on earth like it is in heaven. So on behalf of Christians, I want to apologize for the bashing. I want to, I want to tell you, God did not cause this. God did not allow this. Us Christians did because we have not taken responsibility and taken authority over things that come to kill, steal, and destroy. I want to apologize for the hate. I want to apologize that people would say that it was that your kid deserved to die or hateful things like that, especially pastors. That's not true. God loves you. He loves your kids. So I want to apologize to you for that. And I want to tell you, don't listen to that. God loves you. God created your kid for a reason and a purpose that only they could fulfill. And now that they're gone, that purpose will never get fulfilled. So, so just believe me when I say that I'm sorry and I apologize for what happened. And I apologize for Christians saying bad things. And to the parents whose um, child fell into the gorilla cage, I apologize to you. I apologize that there was bashing, that, they, that instantly they want people sat in front of their computers at home in their heated, in their air conditioning houses. And they said, well, if I would have been a parent, I wouldn't have done that. Well, every one of us who is a parent has lost our kids. 
I could tell you stories. We just didn't get caught. We just didn't have that dramatic of a situation. We have all lost our kids. They've escaped from us. It's part of things that happen. I want to apologize to you for Christians bashing you, for them causing, uh, saying things about you, saying you needed to be investigated. I am sorry. I am so sorry that Christians and the public did that to you. And for the parents who just lost their child in the alligator, with the alligator incident, I am, I am so sorry for your loss. And I want to say that that was not God's will. God did not, did not allow that. God did not cause that to happen. That is the devil that comes to kill, steal, and destroy. God loves your child as much as you do. But be reassured that your son is in heaven now waiting for you. He's, your child is waiting for you in heaven. Just receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Receive that he paid the price for all of our sins so that when you go to heaven that you'll be able to see your son. But your son is playing in heaven. He's having a good time. Don't don't have sorrow for him. He's gone. I, I just speak peace on you and comfort on you right now in Jesus' name. And I'm sorry for the any kind of bashing that's gone on against you. And I just pray for peace and comfort for you and and in Jesus' name. And so that that's just I just want to apologize to all Christian uh, non Christians and for all the people for the bashing that Christians do. And and that's it. That's all I have to say about that. My name is Robin Bremer. My website is Robinbremer.net.